And so when you think of not just the Garfield movie, but the more bigger Garfield brand, it all becomes just light entertainment. Garfield is much skinnier, he much more stands up on his back feet, he's much more smiling, he doesn't have this dark uh, point of view about the world, he's not utterly sarcastic, he doesn't have this great insulting tone towards John and Odie, and he just becomes a fun scallywag who's just wanting to go on adventures. And you can see this in all of the Garfield movies, you can see this on the Garfield uh, website, and this whole very clean, very uh, Disney sort of concept of what Garfield is, is a complete uh, separation from what the original purpose of the comic was. And so all of the Garfield movies are incredibly dull because they have no attempt, they make no attempt at actually holding forth and being loyal to the original source material and are just going to make a very cut and dry, cookie cutter sort of model of what a Hollywood movie ought to be. And so all of the unique characteristics of Garfield, everything that makes Garfield so special is stripped away and we get something that is very boring, very uh, by the numbers, very much colouring within the lines and it just becomes really tedious to watch and it was a great pain that I had to watch the Garfield movies because they are not very entertaining, they're not nearly, um, they don't have that uh, social commentary, subtle undertone to them, they don't have a nihilistic view of the world, they're not sardonic, and it's just very much a very typical Disney sort of crazy adventure. And so, when I look at all these examples, and of course I haven't brought up the examples that most people bring up, which are the attempts to convert video games to movies, because that is an entire other subject which is full of mistakes and disasters and just awful, awful products being created. We can just not include those, and just let's have a look at those examples that I brought up of The Simpsons and Spongebob. And it's clear that the entire methodology by which one creates a Hollywoodized version of a popular franchise is flawed because this Hollywood mindset, the Hollywood executives, the Hollywood writers, the Hollywood plot designers are uh, think of the world in such a different way and have such a strict way of going about things and they are unwilling to compromise. They don't want to hold true and tight to the original source material. They essentially have a model of a story that they think will work, they, they will make a lot of money, every young family will want to see it, and so it'll be a very big smash hit, and so they'll just say, we know what we're doing, we're going to tell the story this way, and whatever is um, in terms of the, the, the core fans, in terms of the source material, that all can be left aside. And so you start to wonder, well, what is the point of actually making a Hollywood version of this m this uh, franchise if it's not actually going to end up with anything meaningful being created? Because 